Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and it's Tuesday, March 28th. Tesla appears to be on pace for a record quarter for deliveries, led by solid performance in the US, China, and also Norway. Tesla investors are hoping for a big first quarter, thanks to a ramp up in Berlin and Texas for production. But the real question is, can Tesla deliver all those cars to paying customers? So far, things are looking good in Tesla's key markets. In the U.S., Tesla's massive price drops have resulted in unprecedented demand, as we previously reported. The automaker ran out of new production build slots for the Model Y, its most popular vehicle, halfway into the quarter. In China, the latest registration data shows that Tesla already beat its record for deliveries with 126,000 with still a week left. In Norway, Tesla is also on pace for a record month. In March, already at 7,000 and could very well hit 10,000 in that country alone. The Wall Street consensus for Tesla deliveries worldwide is 420,000 for the global total of the first quarter. A Tesla Cybertruck was spotted testing its steering and Elon Musk commented by hyping up the truck's performance. The video starts out with the Cybertruck doing a U-turn and it appears that the rear wheel steering was used to make it very sharp. Elon Musk commented on the video and said that he expects a Cybertruck to turn as well as the much smaller Model Y. Another part of the short video shows the vehicle skimping about the lane and seemingly jerking the wheel to test its responsiveness. Tesla recently said that it aims to bring the Cybertruck to production this summer, although we can't expect significant deliveries until 2024. A new Cybertruck prototype has been spotted ahead of the start of production, and the lack of a visible wiper is bringing up the mega wiper debate. An early Cybertruck prototype featured a monstrously large windshield wiper sitting on the side of the vehicle when not in use. You know, unlike regular ones where it stays tucked under the hood. Musk had previously said that this wiper design would not make it to production, but the beta prototypes that we've seen have actually had it in use. But now the latest sighting shows a new prototype without any visible wiper. It could be that it was removed for this specific prototype for some reason, or it's possible that there was a change. Some prospective buyers have been asking for more traditional wipers tucked inside the base of the hood, but it seems like there's not a whole lot of space for it. I guess that's why they call it hidden. Electrek takes a drive in Ford's Blue Cruise version 1.2, which is touted as eyes on, hands off. While the overall experience brings up some needed improvements, such as charging speed and the limited road access for the full feature set, the system has great additions to the landscape. Electrek's editorial director, Seth Weintraub, writes, quote, Hands-off autonomy is so much nicer to use on the open road than having to keep your hands on the wheel. That's why I think Super Cruise and now Ford's Blue Cruise are better experiences on the road than Tesla's autopilot. With your hands off the wheel, you feel like a passenger, and with the car keeping an eye on your eyes, you are free to look around a lot more, eat a sandwich, and adjust your seating position in ways you can't with your hands on the wheel. Ford, for its part, is moving the needle quite a bit in the right direction, and already has a product that will lighten the mental and physical load of a lot of drivers on interstates. Kia has fully launched its long-anticipated EV9 SUV ahead of pre-orders next quarter. The Kia EV9 will come available in two different battery size options, a 76.1 kWh pack or a long-range 99.8 kWh battery available on both all-wheel and rear-wheel drive versions. Kia estimates 336 miles on the long-range rear-wheel drive. However, the estimates were calculated using the generous WLTP standard, so at Electrek we would guess that the official EPA estimate would be somewhere around 300 to 310 miles. Kia also said that it will eventually introduce a boost option that will increase the torque of the front motors to a total of 700 newton meters, though it seems that that will be a software update later down the road. Kia says that it is striving towards reaching SAE Level 3 autonomy, and the EV9 will arrive with the necessary components to eventually allow for hands-free driving under certain driving conditions. Unfortunately, we don't have the pricing information to share at this time. Nissan has developed an electric concept car based on the legendary sports car of the Nissan Skyline GTR. Strangely, the brief video shows a tailpipe, and it also carries the sound of a gas engine. The video ends with the text R23 EV. 
Now, personally, I really don't have a lot of excitement for artificial engine noises, but other companies seem to be going this direction as well. The United States and Japan have struck a trade deal for battery minerals, according to Reuters. This deal could potentially allow Japanese electric cars to get greater access to the U.S. EV tax credit with the Inflation Reduction Act. The bill requires that a minimum percentage of EV battery components be built in North America and that critical minerals in an EV's battery have to be extracted or processed either in the U.S. or a country in which the U.S. has a free trade agreement. The IRS has suggested that foreign assembled cars could still qualify if they are leased, which was an interpretation that was pushed for by South Korean automakers. But it looks as if Japan has found a different way around the requirements, or at least one of them, because they signed a very narrow free trade agreement with the U.S. solely for battery critical minerals. The U.S. is currently negotiating separately with the European Union for a similar agreement, though it has not yet come to pass. In today's community comment found on YouTube, Trevor Wenzel says, Comment. Well, Trevor, thank you very much for the comment. If you're curious, I read every single comment that comes to the YouTube channel. I don't respond to them all, and some of them I'd rather not address on camera. But each and every comment helps the YouTube realize that this show has some value. If you'd like, you can share these videos with your friends, or click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be pestered by YouTube. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.